Okay, hi guys, and welcome to the show. Today, another strap video. It certainly has been a while since I did one of these videos. And as Christmas is around the corner, there is no better gift options than um, straps when it comes to watches. And uh, not only that, they are incredibly fun and can breathe new life and a bit of pizzazz and style and change the way a watch feels and looks completely. Um, so yeah, it's it's only inevitable that I'm going to do this type of video on a regular basis. Now, of course, before I get into uh, the video itself, I've got to do a wristwatch check and I'm wearing the F91W. Uh, I've been wearing it a lot recently. It's just very fun, uh, light, comfortable. And as a lot of my watches that are in rotation are before you, yeah, I've, I've, I've uh, put on the the faithful old uh, F91W. You can never go wrong with one of these watches. Um, and actually, in itself, is a great gift suggestion for only ten dollars. Um, but anyway, let's discuss the straps. So we'll start over here with the first um, watch featured. This is my Dubain Sheldon Rattrapant or Rattrapante, however you want to say it. And this is uh, on a genuine crocodile strap this is from swiss tech now this is actually an older strap i have since uh, bought a newer strap not for this watch this is for a different watch i don't think the red even though it actually matches the red on the um the telemeter there i don't think it actually works with this particular watch uh, this is an older burgundy crocodile strap and they are incredible value for money they're still i think they're about uh 60 70 bucks um thereabouts on ebay i'll leave a, all the links will be in the description for each strap handmade in italy crocodile on genuine crocodile on the outside in this kind of gloss finish and you can have them with a variety of, of different stitching i had to change the buckle to a gold tone to match the watch unfortunately the, this buckle does not precisely match the uh, if i show you in the packaging they come with the standard um, silver um, stainless steel silver tone buckle there as you can see there the new ones do have the um, bolt action spring bars there uh, which is much easier to to fit really is a doddle uh, tech swiss sorry i keep, i always call it swiss tech sorry <laughs> Um, yeah, 20 millimeters, uh, wonderful quality, incredible value for money. As you as you guys know, getting um, genuine crocodile or alligator for that matter under you know $100 is quite a bargain. So, and the quality is great, and I love the way it ages. This I've had for absolutely donkeys, and still absolutely loving it. So yeah, an old favorite, but worthy of mentioning. Anyway, let's move on. Uh, I've got my darling little Timex. This is my Timex Marlin. Uh, classic uh, 60s piece made in the United Kingdom and it is on a Fluco uh, uh, did I pronounce that right so Fluco is is from Germany handmade in Germany and as you can see on the back it says this one's an 18 millimeter to fit the uh, the Timex I went for blue they have some this is actually a dark blue with uh, a kind of royal blue stitching 2.7 millimeters thick oh and I didn't I neglected to mention these are padded in the center so they're a little bit thick if you see it it um, it's thick in the center sorry did forgot to mention that these really are one of the the most comfortable straps I've, I've ever had and I love the new colors they got this is from Holbens uh, I'll leave the link in down below. This beautiful suede strap is also available in a whole host of colors. It's wonderful to match, especially like me, if you've got suede uh, chuckers, perhaps you want to match the brown or, uh, in, in fact, I've just recently bought a pair of chuckers in a dark navy blue, so I'll be matching this <laughs> watch with the, the shoes, uh, belts, that kind of thing. Um, even pocket squares, I think it's a wonderful thing to do. Uh, it really does up your game in terms of dapperness. They're about $28, uh, tw $29, which is an absolute bargain. And I really think it brings an extra little bit of pop and um, personality to, to quite a conservative watch. And they're just so comfy. I mean, the softest, most supple suede oh it's just these are real a real pleasure to wear okay moving on uh, to another german company uh, uh, another favorite it's become a favorite it's, uh, certainly a uh, uh, the de facto choice for my navi timer but this time we have 
the flighty, the Seiko flighty on uh, the Rios. Uh, this is the brand Rios from Germany, handmade in Germany again. Um, I'll just show you the logo there. There you go. Rios 1939, uh, wonderfully stitched. They specialize in aviation watches. This is a cognac brown with a kind of uh, buffalo um, grain texture to the finish. It's a semi-gloss, I would say. Very thick, very substantial. Um, I've actually bought several of them now, and, and this is the, the one from my previous, or the style from my, pre, from my Navi timer. This would work very, very well. Um, this style doesn't suit all watches. Um, so this time I went with a little bit more of the boxy version. This is called the Typhoon. This is only $27, which is astonishing considering it's handmade in Germany. Uh, this is actually a family uh, owned company. I think they've been in the family for three generations. Um, so you really get that kind of personal attention to detail. You, you, you feel it. It's not some mass produced thing. Uh, thick, rembord construction with multiple layers. Extremely solid feeling. This is something Rios do really well. So they last longer, they're just better built, to be honest, or, or better constructed. And what is wonderful about this one, if you remember the, the Flight Master has that annoying lug width of 21 uh, millimeters. This you can get in 21 millimeters. Uh, this one is a 20, I believe. And I also have um, a cognac version of Sorry, this one in uh, 22 for my Navi timer. I just think it works on aviation watches perfectly. Um, it really does give the watch, especially because aviation watches tend to be bigger. This would work great with the Flieger watches as well. They, they really kind of position the watch in, the, in, a, in a very reassuring manner. And look how thick it is. It's about 3.5 millimeters thick. Just wonderful. The, the quality is astounding on these. I love Rios. Really developed a, a strong, you know, admiration for this brand. And an absolute bargain. I mean, the prices are phenomenal. So moving on to something uh, much more formal. This is actually a, a no-name brand um, that I tracked down on eBay uh, from a seller called the US Jewel Company. And basically, I, I went for this particular, this is obviously a lizard grain. Um, it's, it's not really that glossy, almost matte. Um, very thin, uh, but because this little universal Geneve, it needed to be something classy, dressy. Unfortunately, it had the irritating lug width of 17 millimeters. And because of those straight lugs, it has to be a very tight fit. The 16 was too small, 18 was too big. So it had to be precise. I found this um, company uh, on eBay and for 20 bucks, uh, this is what you get and I, I must say it's it's fairly impressive a little bit too long for my tastes um, I'm probably gonna punch an extra hole in there uh, but you get the choice of gold tone or, or uh, silver tone uh, buckle on the underneath is a water resistant soft lining and then genuine leather on the top not bad at all and especially when you're trying to find quite you know unusual sizes this was a, a great affordable option. Very, very thin, and it had to be because the watch is remarkably thin. I think it's about seven millimeters, the watch itself. So the strap, it's uh, under two easily, probably one point something, I would guess. So it had to be slender, and it does taper quite nicely as well. Very happy with that. Um, it's a no-name brand made uh, specifically for US jewelers. I'll leave a link to their eBay page or the listing below. Okay, next is a brand uh, you guys should know very well by now. It's a favorite brand of mine from Rome. Uh, this is, of course, Colareb. But Colareb usually do, you know, more traditional straps. This is one of their first one piece. Uh, this is called the A1. And yep, it is a one-piece Zulu. And as you see there, Vera Pelle made in Italy. Uh, the construction, the quality of this is exquisite. You see the, the Colreb logo there with the R uh, representing Rome. 
Uh, it's a family business. I know them well. Shout out to Fabio uh, and the whole family there. These really are premium luxury, uh, as it says, handmade uh, quality items. Now, Coloreb are a little bit more better known for their thicker straps, although they are really innovating now with a whole new line of of uh, quite exotic materials, even wooden straps. Very, very cool stuff indeed. This one piece, I gotta say, I'm not a big fan of the one piece because they tend to be thick, but this is wonderfully thin and slender and extremely comfortable. About 1.5 millimeters. A really cool interpretation of the of the one piece. Done in a, in a very lovable, rich color that uh, ages. The more you wear it, the, the better it gets. Um, it just ages like a fine wine. It really does. It gets a whole load more personality. So this is genuine leather looks like chocolate it has a lovely texture to it. it has a lovely fluidity to the movement of it they are incredibly well made uh, look at the stitching there that the even there's even a keeper for the loop to keep it in place uh, signed brushed buckle there for an aviation actually for pretty much a lot of watches this works on and i think uh, perfect for the zin 104 here. One of the most comfortable, actually it is the most comfortable one piece Zulu I've ever experienced. I'm really impressed by, uh, by this. Again, link down below. Um, you can buy it now direct from, if you're in Europe, you can buy it direct from the Colored website. You can buy it from us. You can buy it from Holbens and the quality is there. And what I love is, is the pricing is really realistic. We're looking at $69, which is fantastic. There's a lot of price gouging with luxury leather handmade straps going on, uh, but that's not what Colored do. And I, I respect them for it. They keep their prices realistic and and yet you're supporting a family, you know, you're, you're supporting a real family business. It's not some mass produced, um, you know, uh, price gouged rubbish that that that's it's, it's so prevalent now. So I had to include a rubber strap uh, in here and I've gone with an old favorite. I, I did a video very early on in the channel's uh, history on rubber straps, all the different types from high end to low end, the different types of rubber, what to look for, the different properties. But one brand that stands head and shoulders above the rest is Bonetto Cinturini. They come in these charming little unpretentious bags, vanilla scented, uh, and I've put it on my little knack in here I think the orange works with the blue. Yes, it's it's more for summer, but you never know when you, when you might go on a midwinter vacation. And I think their straps are incredibly well designed. The quality is there and the prices are absolutely bang on. We're looking at $25 stainless steel buckle that I've never seen uh, such a cool design. And, and this flat uh, tongue here threads through these, these uh, I mean, it's a, it's a very clever design because there's a lot of different positions there. You can, you can really get an excellent fit. So the rubber itself is high quality vulcanized nitrile NBR rubber. So it's not silicon. Water resistant, it's UV resistant, non-allergenic, non-toxic, and of course, perfect for a diver, for a, for a sporting watch like this. And it has this kind of retro, slightly sci-fi, a little bit silent running look to it. I, I just, it's very lovable. It's fun. It's lively. And it's quite thin. It's, it's not too bulky like a lot of rubber straps are. I think it's about four millimeters thick. Um, so yeah, very, very cool indeed. As I rub my gloves on it, you'll notice it doesn't attract lint or dust, um, which is you know, an indicator of a good quality rubber strap. And then we have these perforated uh, tropic style perforations here on the closer to the head of the watch. And as the uh, packaging suggests, it's actually made uh, in Italy. So uh, very, very cool indeed. Love them, love Bonetto Cinturini, incredible value for money. Best rubber straps, uh, I think, I think out there, you know, and very affordable. And of course, guys, if you don't like this style, they have a lot more conservatively styled ones, different colors. Uh, this is a 20 millimeter lug width one. And I didn't, I neglected to mention this is 20 millimeters as well for the Zin, um, for the color red for the Zin. Okay, moving on to another old favorite brand, uh, Hirsch, of course, and I've been using Hirsch straps 
uh, as long as I can remember. So this is the My 50 Fathoms mod, and I've put it on uh, this wonderful buffalo grain uh, hearse strap. Now you'll notice it's a little bit stubby. That's because this is a shorter version. So obviously I have thinner wrists, but they still have it for 22 millimeters uh, lug width, which is just fantastic. It's padded in the center, nice and thick and substantial with beautiful crisp white uh, stitching to kind of mimic or echo the, the detail on the watch. So it's uh, 4.5 millimeters in the center, then it tapers to about two millimeters. So this is uh, constructed from naturally tanned calf leather. It's very understated. The pattern and, and the texture to it is, is very uh, subtle. Hersha are a big manufacturer. They're, they're actually from Austria. They've been going since I think about 1765, so a really old company. Now you can get this in a variety of different lug widths. The price is a little bit more, uh, $35, but the quality certainly is there. It's um, rather elegant, but yet the more you wear it, the more you, this I haven't actually even worn this particular one yet. It really becomes aged nicely you know it ages beautifully and i know uh for a dive watch a lot of people don't like leather on dive watches but i think this combination works a vintage inspired design like this it, it complements it well i'm not going to be wearing this in the water um even though i you know it it, it really should um but you know, as we move into autumn and winter i think uh, it, it dresses it up nicely now we've just looked at a hirsch and the another big company that uh, we all know uh, very well is hadley roma uh, so this is a hadley roma and i've put it on the fortis because the fortis has this brushed very tooltastic look to it this kadora i think it, is it pronounced kadora yeah kadora um canvas strap has this lovely uh, tanned sand. I don't know why, it reminds me of um, kind of Gulf War camouflage a little bit. I think it suits the, the watch really, really well. Uh, this obviously being a, a space going chronograph, the canvas echoes the aviation theme, um, especially as this is very much Flieger inspired in its layout. It, I, I think it just works seamlessly well together. We have this very, uh, tooly looking um, stitching here in a slightly lighter uh, color. So Hadley Roma is, um, despite the name sounding uh, very Italian, it's from America, it's from uh, Massachusetts, in fact. So this is actually genuine Cadora. Uh, the lining is a different type of uh, soft leather called uh, Lorica lining, which Lorica, I, I believe, was a, a Roman invention. It goes that far back. So it's hypoallergenic, it's also water resistant. Uh, the Cadora is designed for high performance. It's extremely robust, similar to canvas and similar to nylon. The center is padded uh, to about four millimeters and then tapers downwards, I think to about three or two. And I really do think with, you know, a space going aviation themed watch like this, the canvas, well, the Cadora, I should be more specific, um, really complements the look, the functional, no-nonsense, uh, rugged appeal of, of, a, of a true, true tool watch chronograph. Even the, uh, the buckle there is brushed and matches the finishing of the watch. So very cool indeed. This is a 20 millimeters in uh, lug width and width there. Uh, you can get in various sizes. So this is the uh, MS850 uh, in sand color and it retails only for about $21, which is just phenomenal. Very, very cool. Okay, moving back uh, now from uh, functional um, Tooltastic to another tool watch, you could say, but uh, this time we have it on a luxury um, distress style collar This is their new or their newer Firenze in gray, and it's a really luscious uh, rich gray, beautifully distressed. No two straps are the same. Uh, you really get a uh, your own personality with each one. Vera Pelle, of course, real leather, made in Italy, handmade. Um, I just love Colreb. There you go, the new Colreb logo. Uh, these taper beautifully uh, from about 20 down to 16. It has a polished buckle, 
that is signed with the R for Rome. Uh, I love the cream colored stitching. It's almost blue in color. Yeah, it's a kind of panzer tank gray, I would describe it, which is, uh, as you can imagine, I, <laughs> I adore it. I think it suits the uh, no-nonsense appeal of the, of the Rolex Explorer perfectly. And you guys know I've been searching for the perfect strap for this, and I think I found it. I'm very happy with this combination. They are wonderful and thick, about four millimeters, oh, almost five, I think, at the thickest part. Really nice and thick. And they give a, a, a very, and we're joined by the NYPD as usual. It gives a very um, reassuring feeling and presence on the wrist. There's no expense spared. Uh, you get your money's worth with Colorab. These are about $57, which I think is an absolute bargain. And uh, to be honest, you know, you look at similar quality luxury handmade Italian straps on the market they cost twice as much three times as much and that just goes to show the genuine unpretentious prices uh, that Colorab have uh, you can now buy this on the Urban Gentry website as well as Holborn's or if you prefer and you're in, in uh, Europe you can order it straight from Colorab themselves um, so whichever's most convenient to you I'm very proud of our partnership with uh, Colorab. It's a dream come true. I, you know, I've been uh, once just the consumer and fan to, to now being able to to uh, spread the message and 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 you know bring the same happiness that I got from their straps to more people. Um, I just think it's fantastic. So I can't recommend them enough. Um, yeah, love them. Okay, last but by no means least, probably the most important strap. We're going to talk about today and it, this is no ordinary NATO strap this is actually uh, in collaboration with Risk Candy Watch Club and as you can see there it's signed the Urban Gentry this is the official Urban Gentry NATO strap uh, designed um, by me and uh, Risk Candy Watch Club uh, in collaboration with each other it has the new Urban Gentry color scheme slightly inspired by the Bond strap but you see the gray is a little bit different and then we have an additional two crimson kind of burgundy stripes in the middle this is the, called the Valor uh, NATO strap uh, the name derives from the Victoria Cross that inspired the, the red colors there if you look at the Victoria Cross it has um, a crimson kind of burgundy on the ribbon uh, where the medal attaches. If you're not familiar, my, one of my ancestors, Garth Neville uh, Wolford, he um, died in battle in uh, World War One, and he was awarded the Victoria Cross. It is awarded for gallantry in the face of the enemy um, and is, is extremely prestigious. In fact, it's the highest award in, um, uh, in the honours system. So I'm very, very proud. I wanted um, to kind of commemorate him, it being a, a, a military strap um, and also, um, you know, NATO's obviously being, being a British army invention. I, I thought it was only fitting and I thought I'd pop it on my Omega World War II 1945 uh, pilot's watch. So yeah, uh, I, I'm very, very proud about this. And you can buy these exclusively uh, from the Urban Gentry website. All the details down below. So the hardware is uh, polished stainless steel. Uh, done a little bit thinner, um, just in case you want to dress it up. This one is the 18 millimeter wide version. You can get it in 22 and 20. I'm not sure of the price yet, uh, but uh, there'll be a link in the description below. So do have a look. Anyway, guys, those are my top 10 best straps of uh, 2017. Uh, please do share any recommendations in the comments below. I'd love to hear what straps uh, you love. And if you uh, are a uh, proud owner of any of these, uh, please do share your experiences. I certainly am going to be enjoying this whole plethora of pure class. <laughs> um, so thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and found it useful. And as always, guys, I will catch you in the next one. Okay, ciao.